A single drop of water a few millimeters wide probably goes unnoticed by most people. But when that tiny drop lands on a surface, a leaf, a blade of grass, or even your head, it doesn't stop there. That one drop then produces more drops and more drops and so on. Scientists say this spray can contribute to infectious disease spread on almost everything from humans to plants to ponds and lakes. Inside Science. The transport of pathogens and contaminants occurs in droplets typically. Whether we're talking about somebody sneezing, coughing, whether we're talking about sprays in irrigation on crops, whether we're talking about impacts on contaminated water or lakes, ultimately everything end up being transported in the droplets. Using high-speed cameras, scientists at MIT looked at single splashing droplets. In just a few milliseconds, hundreds of smaller droplets are formed and are ejected into the air. Throughout the breakup process, secondary drops are being generated, and the time variation of that process is very important to understand to know what ultimately the final total of drops that are emitted during that whole process is going to look like. Boriba and her team developed computer algorithms to measure the droplet splashes and patterns. They tracked the thickness of a droplet's rim perimeter as it splashes and forms a sheet expanding away and up from a range of surfaces. This process can predict the number, size, and speed of smaller droplets that are ejected from the rim and into the air. But then some of the interesting results we found were also not only continuing to be applicable to not just water, but all sorts of other fluids, including some soapy fluids and some mucosalivary fluids. The results can also be used to model and control the physics of spray coatings, like pesticides that splash back up from crop leaves, or raindrops that may pick up and spread diseases as they impact contaminated surfaces. Previous research has shown that splashes of rain can send contaminated droplets into the air and onto other plants, which might help explain why farmers notice that plant disease outbreaks often follow a rainstorm. This is Inside Science. Inside Science. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.